Quite often, we limit ourselves to thinking that we lack sexual energy when we need it most. But this divine flow is always here. It has always been present in the same way, but we are the ones whose presence is not always the same. We will perceive our own absence as a fake accusation for the absence of energy. If we sleep the whole day, we might think that during these hours of our absence in our sleep, the whole world sleeps and is absent too. You cannot increase sexual energy. You can rise only the awareness toward the current inside your mind. The level of sexual energy is always the same. Having sex or not. Having a partner or not. If you even not had a single orgasm in your life, your energy level will be the same. It is up to you to find a way to channel it. People can make love with hundreds of godly tantric partners every day and still have nothing. On the other hand, you can masturbate and make love in your mind with your own God. Try now and find what that God is. Is he a male? A female? Young, old, sweet, angry, childish, wise. What does he or she look like? Eyes, hair. Is God an animal maybe? Maybe a sound? He is maybe color or not a being at all. Which color? Orange or maybe blue? Go and search each day, adding one new thing which is a part of your God. You will build yourself an ideal lover an ideal personal God which you will have all the monopoly on and which will have all the monopoly upon you. Then, when you have constructed him, when you have made this sacred, sensual anatomy of your God, start playing with him. Explore. Search. Go fuck with some ugly woman or a guy. Go fuck with some man or woman from your childhood. Go to a completely different town and fuck some very old man or woman. Go have a threesome. Buy a teddy bear and ride him a whole day if you dare. Play with Lego and your genitalia. Try to have an orgasm on the train without hiding. Call your boss with your number hidden and let him hear you come. Masturbate. Play not with your body, but with your mind. Masturbate your mind. Let the universe arouse you in its own way. Your soul is the sexual object of the entire universe. Let the whole universe arouse itself with your thinking about the same universe. Your whole ego is just an echo of the orgasm of the universe. But always and constantly try to float on that wind of change which take you away, away from the shores of ordinary and repetition. Push to that extremes, but always with everyone and everything, fuck with your God. See where this energy will take you. In this way, your water will not be stagnant like a sea. Let it become a river, wild, fast and furious. One giant infinite living water of change which will drag your destiny like a little barge on an ocean. Then, lose yourself in that open vastness. Yeah, in that open vastness. Know yourself. Fuck yourself.